welcome to our channel. This is Health Coach Team. Today, we are going to tell you about unlocking the secrets of the Navy SEAL fitness examinations. Before we start, please like and subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon to get new updates. There have been many men and women who have dreamt of becoming a part of the United States Navy SEALs. If you are one of them, then you need to increase your chance of getting in. You should take a look at the challenging Navy SEAL fitness examinations and see if you can do it. You cannot easily join the team if you fail to meet some of the requirements. You need to pass in order to belong to the BUDS program. It takes a lot of courage before you can become a full-fledged Navy SEAL. Make sure that you ask the advice of a physician before subjecting yourself to a new exercise routine. This is for your own safety and to ensure that your body is ready to handle physical activities on its elevated levels. It is important that you master all the exercises incorporated in the training program. Before you take the entrance exam and become a Navy SEAL. If you want to achieve success, then get ready to be wet. The fitness program of the Navy SEAL teaches each team member to feel at home in the waters not only on land. In fact, water is utilized according to their advantage in ways that are possible for them. But, the training is focused on the things needed to be learned prior to the examination. The fitness exam for Navy SEAL requires the applicant to swim. This is the first part of the entrance examination. You should complete a 500 meter swim in 12 minutes and 30 seconds. There are two survival strokes that the Navy SEAL approved. You can use either the side strokes or the breast stroke. It may sound easy but most students have failed in this phase. It is because they think that they are already physically fit and tend to ignore practicing. You are lucky if you pass the first phase, but it is not the end of the fitness examination as the second phase begins. Within two minutes, you should be able to perform a minimum of 42 push-ups. It is better if you exceed the given quota but it is advisable to reserve your energy. For another two minutes, you should perform 50 sit-ups. Next is performing a minimum of six pull-ups, with no time limits but you should go back to the starting position in each repetition. Every exercise has a two-minute rest period. So, this ends the second phase of your fitness examination. Here comes the third phase. You are required to run wearing boots and camouflage pants. You need to complete a one and a half mile run within 11 minutes and 30 seconds. Most Navy SEAL examiners have failed in this fitness examination. But you can pass if you are determined enough. Never make any mistakes such as eating a certain food before the exam begins. You will just end up in a mess along the field or track. Still, your success depends on your courage and determination to finish the fitness examination of the Navy SEAL. 
Keep in mind that the Navy SEAL is not appropriate for the faint-hearted. There is a great need for training to prepare oneself on the day of the exam. Only a few people have passed the Navy SEAL fitness examination without proper training. Make sure that the exercises in each phase are practiced rigorously to achieve success. So guys, I'm all today. This is just an informative video. Thanks for watching this video. If you like our channel, please share and subscribe.